me, I'm super lucky to even be playing, you know, in the National Football League. You know, if you look back at my story. Xavier Cooper is a complicated 24 year young man, but he's very, very wise for his age. I always think it's a good thing I had him second, because if I would have had him first, we probably have never had a second child because he was so difficult to raise. Well, it's the smile. We always come back to a smile, and you know, he just always picked everybody up and <laughs> after beating them up. He's overcome adversity. I think he was destined to be an athlete. Xavier Cooper is a beast. <laughs> Football is at, at its purest form is a fight. At the end of the day, you gotta line up, and it's either me or it's him. I wanna be the hammer, I don't wanna be the nail. And so I, I think at the end of the day, you know, you gotta line up, you gotta have an attitude that, you know, I'm, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this man and I'm gonna push him back and I'm gonna get, make me a play. He could run. He's probably one of the fastest boys I've got to coach at that size in 46 years of coaching. A line coach and I said, this, this guy looks good. Is he as quick as I think he is? And they both kind of nodded and they said, yeah, he's got the feet, he's got the feet. And that's impossible to coach. We just need to get him in the weight room. At X ran track in, in high school at 256 pounds, he ran 100 meters. And a lot of people laughed at him until he won a lot of his meat, a lot of his heat. So he's been blessed. Well, it was pretty clear his junior year that he, he could be going to college to play football. We all knew that. X has always had a challenge with his, with his studies. He's got this amazingly supportive family, and so they were very involved. For me to diagnose a playbook is, is hard. You know, I have to spend extra time doing that. For me to read a book is hard. For me to, uh, you know, write a paper is hard. But, you know, I challenge myself and I continue to push myself. He was academically ineligible um, coming out of Wilson High School. So in order for him to enroll into Wilson, he had to uh, sit out a year, essentially. And during that year, we actually both went to a local community college, TCC. And, uh, you know, he had to, you know, get his grades in line in order to make that jump to the Division I football. So um, he took a lot of grief about that. Uh, and um, he struggled with that. I didn't believe in myself at times because of the situation I was tossed in, you know, uh, low GPA, uh, you know, uh, you know, might have not had the, 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 the biggest, wasn't the tallest, wasn't the fastest, wasn't the biggest, you know, but I had something about me. If you believe it or not, there was one point where X couldn't do push-ups, he couldn't do sit-ups, he couldn't do pull-ups, and, uh, you know, during his, his, his time when he was out that you know his first year of uh, college I mean X couldn't do one pull-up to save his life and uh, yeah he was 260 pounds but um, you know th that was pretty interesting and now the kid I mean could do anything you know I graduated with a little bit over a 1.9 GPA now you know for, in most statistics I wasn't supposed to make it to college and I wasn't supposed to make it uh, to graduate <laughs> Xavier was a pain in the butt. So I kind of, you know, didn't have a relationship that I wanted to have with my dad until I got older and I realized all the valuable things he was trying to teach me, you know, are starting, are starting to come true and I, and I needed his help. Well, I, I had tryouts with the old Baltimore Colts, which dates me, and, uh, and the old Houston Oilers. In between that, uh, I had uh, two years playing semi-pro ball. So uh, I, I was in both camps. I was in as, both, as a rookie in both camps and I lasted through both camps and then got released. And the thing that I wanted him to be mindful of was the work that was ahead of him. He has to stay focused both mentally and physically about what it was going to take to get to that next level. Uh, once you're released, you know, you, you have to make a decision on what you're going to do with your life and take whatever the consequences are because it's a tough profession. It's one of the toughest professions out of all the professional sports how hungry you were to get you to the National Football League, keep that hunger for you to stay in the National Football League because it's hard to get here, but it's even hard to stay here. New coaches come in, uh, nobody's guaranteed a job. I might not be with the Cleveland Browns, that's just how it goes, but I'm gonna do everything I can within my control to make, to make this team every year. And you're, you're gonna have to go through life, you know, making your own choices, but at the end of the day, there's a lot of people who are, who are looking up, you know, looking up to you. And I felt, you know, when I was drafted, everybody was drafted with me, including my city. Yeah, it's so unreal or surreal that I just don't, 
even feel that comfortable talking about it sometimes. It seems like it's not really happening. I'm amazed at what he's accomplished, what he knows, and he's got his eyes set on a vision, uh, not only in just in the NFL, but after the NFL. You know, I challenge myself and I continue to push myself. You know, I'm, I'm doing statistics right now, and that's one bit of the hardest class I've ever took in my college career, but, you know, I put in the extra work. I'm working with a tutor right now, and, and, and we're putting in that work to get it done. And, you know, right now, I'm, you know, I'm on the pace to graduate in, in May, and that'll be huge for me and my family. He knows what he wants to do, and I'm very, very proud of what my son has accomplished in 24 years.